Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I got this look. Basically, I did my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. Um, so, hope you guys enjoy this video. It's pretty much a chit chat, I guess, get ready with me. But I'm trying to do more modelly. I explained how I'm trying to change my aesthetic in the video. So, yeah, just keep watching if you want to see how I got this. What's up, guys? I'm back. Okay, AirPods flex because, you know. I haven't really wanted air bag. But I'm gonna put some chapstick on. This is my favorite one. This is the Neutrogena Lip Smoother Chapstick. It's the best chapstick ever. So, and you're probably wondering, like, my hair, yeah, it's not different. It's not a wig, so it's just faux locks. Yeah, I got them done in DC when I was in DC. But my favorite stylist that does faux locks, her name is Nappy X Happy. And yeah, on Instagram, that's her name. So I'll link it down below. But yeah, I'm just gonna put my hair up. And these scrunchies, this scrunchie is like the, my favorite scrunchie. It's like, so nice. I don't know, like it's like not a real I think the cloth, I mean like the other material that they usually have, it's like cloth material, so it doesn't like put a dent into your hair. So I like it a lot. I don't remember where I got these from. Fun fact, I can never do a ponytail. Like I suck at them. I don't know why. It's just always hair everywhere. Whenever I do it. I'm gonna moisturize the face. I already moisturize it, but I don't have my actual moisturizer, so this moisturizer is like not, I feel like it just doesn't moisturize enough for me because my Pond's moisturizer is really good. So I'm using this Origins Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer. I don't know if it's because it's gel, but I feel like it doesn't moisturize me enough. I don't know. And then we, I need to do my edges because, <sighs> yeah. So this is what I usually do. So for my natural hair, I always use like a really strong holding edge control. So I'm going to use either the Gorilla Snap. And I mix it with this. This is like um, the Curls Blueberry Control Bliss, whatever. This slicks it down, but it doesn't really stay as long. So this like makes it stay for a long time, makes it a little bit hard. So, so this is what it looks like. It's like really, I don't know. It really looks like it's not like in jelly. So first I go in with this one. And I'm taking a spoolie, just like the end of. I like this spoolie because it's really, really small. This is a benefit, um, like precisely my brow pencil. So this is the end of the spoolie thing. I'm just gonna try to figure out what I'm gonna do to them. Now that my hair is like pretty much done, then I'm gonna go in my eyebrows. So like today I think I wanna do like a model and like a look type deal. So, you know, the eyebrows are like really, honestly they be going with eyebrows like this. Like, I don't do that though. So I can't do that, cause I don't know. I never got my eyebrows done, so I feel like they have a shape, but not really. I don't know how to describe it. So <laughs> basically I'm gonna just brush them out. I'm brushing them out right now. It's like the end of them are just, like disappear so that's the problem um so i'm gonna conceal them and then i'm gonna try to fill them in so first i'm just gonna go in i'm starting at the end of them and yeah just like lightly filling them in just to create a tail and then i'm just gonna conceal them i'm just gonna go on my maybelline adrian wine concealer and this one's in hazelnut and yeah we're gonna like try to conceal them i just really did whatever to them just the end of them for real I'm gonna blend it out. So I'm gonna go on my milk hydrogen primer. I'm just gonna find my face. Literally, I use the same stuff over and over, but it just works so well. So I don't really see a point in buying anything new. <laughs> Especially when you're saving money and you're trying to get college student, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And my Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation. So I'm trying to like change my aesthetic, guys. So I'm trying to make more like model -y. instead of so much IG battery or like influencer. Um, I still want to do those things. Like I still want to be an influencer and I still want to go sometimes like really makeup, like real makeup looks and stuff. But I don't know. I just really want to do more work and like with the agency and like be more taken serious as a model so I'm like changing my aesthetic especially on Instagram um I don't really know how I'm seeing them here but yeah I'm doing like 
I'm trying to do maybe less hair tutorials and maybe have my hair more like styled like this. I love when I have my full locks. I just feel like it's a different look for me. And like, I feel like just kind of my look, like, I don't know how to describe it. It's like a signature look. I don't know. I feel like it's me. I feel my best when I have my full locks in for real. And it's so easy, so quick, like for um, school. I just did a really, really light layer. As you can see, like, you can still see my skin through the foundation. That's what I'm trying to transition to. So hopefully you guys aren't like so shy away from it. Because I'm still me. At the end of the day, I'm still Dallas. I just you know, changing it up a little bit. Now I'm gonna go with the same concealer. And I'm using this concealer because it's just like really um I don't know, it's like perfect. I like the consistency and it's just not too bright, I guess. Even though it looks crazy right now. And I blended out the same foundation brush. And yeah, so that's what I'm trying to do. Also, oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm getting contacts. So I can actually see for class and class starts literally on Monday. I'm so I'm like, but it's okay. <laughs> I've been working on a lot of things like recently when I was, I just came, I came early back to school. So um, I've been working on things here in LA. i be excited. I want to do more like shoots and stuff with photographers and things like that. So I'm, I'm working towards that and trying to figure out how to be taken more seriously as like a model doing that. And we're just figuring everything out. If you guys have any suggestions or any help as far as that, let me know. Also, I'm trying to figure out a fashion internship that I can have during the summer in LA so I can stay here. Just figuring everything out, you know? Everything is really a roller coaster. In 2020, I'm super excited because there's so many big things. I don't know if you guys have any goals, but like, I've been now writing more in my agenda book. I have an agenda book now, so now I'm writing more in it and just, you know, basically, I don't know. Getting everything put together and like organizing myself. Okay, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier translucent medium deep powder. We're gonna set my face with this. Just taking like a really like light, smaller, fluffy brush to just set it in. I feel like this step is really important because I'm oily, so I want it to look pretty like skin like, but also not like I'm an oil, oil slick, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And yeah, I can't wait. Just new things are happening. Um, I have like on my thing, like this month is January, so I just put like the month of manifestation. And so I'm just gonna manifest most things that I want, all things that I want for real. Um, and just keep manifesting and making them come to light, you know what I'm saying, for the rest of the year. Cause I've slacked on my manifestation, so now I'm gonna keep doing it. And I feel like it's working. Uh, every time I start manifestation, I'm like, why did I even stop? I don't know, it's so weird, I don't know. Sometimes I just get off of it. And you, like your head just goes off of doing things like you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but yeah. I'm glad that I'm going back to it and I'm remembering to do it now. I do it usually when I wake up in the morning when I go to bed. Um, yeah, so it's really helpful in that way. Also, like, I feel like I'm going to work super, super duper hard this time, like way harder than before. So especially for YouTube, YouTube, just everything. I'm just going to try to like um, increase all my streams of income. Just to see how I can do it. Like, if I can do it. You get what I'm saying? And I just know that I'm capable of so much more than what I'm doing now. But I'm just not doing it. So, sorry if I'm looking right here. It's the mirror right here. So, I'm just, like, looking down here. But, yeah. I just know I can, like, do way more. I just, I don't know I'm not doing it. To be honest, that's why I've been doing it. I've been getting up early, too. I've been getting up at 8 o'clock. And actually, yeah. Because usually, I literally wake up. But I never, my body just doesn't get out of bed. So, I'll just be up and like I don't get out of bed until like maybe 9 or 10. But now I'm trying to get up and like get active at 8 o'clock. Which has been working and I really like it. I've been drinking like my smoothie, smoothie every morning. So yeah, we're doing a good job. Okay, now I'm going to take my Fenty Beauty Mocha Mommy bronzer and I'm just going to bronze my face with this. I like this one. It just comes off really red sometimes. So try and make it less red. I'm going to just, I like putting it down first because I don't know. I just really like the way it goes on. It's like not too much. And it's like pretty similar to my skin color, so it's not like a drastic. It just makes it, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know, but I just really like it. I'm gonna go on my True Complexion Contour Palette in Medium Deep and take this shade right there. Also got a chance to just like look back at things. I'm just like, wow, like you have grown so much, like especially like as far as confidence and things. I'm just taking that same shade and like, my nose especially as far as like confidence and stuff like that I used to always be 
like insecure about wearing makeup and stuff outside like like I mean not wearing makeup sorry um, anywhere that I went I just didn't want to go I didn't have enough time to put on my makeup and stuff but now literally I go places all the time without makeup and I don't really feel any type of way about it like I feel pretty normal so yeah I'm really excited that I've grown that much in that regard and it just takes time you know what i'm saying like honestly you are literally so unique like there's no other person like you that has the same features as you so why want something else that someone else has i don't know how to describe it like you know what i'm saying because you're so uniquely made just accept literally everything that you have you're ugly to somebody i'm ugly to somebody and i'm be beautiful to a lot of people and i'm sure that you're beautiful to a lot of people and ugly to someone so who cares i saw this quote it says when you're 20 you care what everyone thinks when you're 40 you stop caring what everyone thinks when you're 60, you realize no one was ever thinking about you in the first place, which is very, very, very true. Everyone is very, like, pretty much selfish. Like, I mean, and you have the right to be because, you know, you're in the world by yourself and you're trying to, you know, better yourself. But um, I just feel like we just worry so much about everyone else, like how everybody thinks of us. And like, honestly, who cares? And like, whenever I say that to people, like, who cares what someone else thinks about me? Then I become like a monster almost. But it's really true. Like. Who cares? <laughs> no one cares. I don't care what you think about me. Because at the end of the day, I know who I am. You know what I'm saying? I know what I need to work on and I know what I want to look like in the future. And it may not be the same image that you have of me. So, okay. Okay, I'm taking this um, Black Radiance Eye Appealing Last Mas Lasting Mascara. And I'm going to apply this. But yeah, that's not to say like to not basically like take in consideration what people do say about you. Because if you have common themes that people say about you all the time, then you might want to like change something about yourself for example if someone's always like oh i don't know like you're really mean at this point you should probably try to change that you know what i'm saying but you want to change it for yourself not for anyone else is what i'm trying to say like your image of yourself is what should be the most important thing and you should like want to better yourself like think about yourself in the future and if those things that people are saying don't align with what you want for yourself then don't change it if it does then change it you know what i'm saying but yeah, 2019 was a pretty, the year itself, like, it was a lot going on. It kind of went by really quickly, but at the same time, really slow. So, I don't know. And I just, thinking about 2020, I never just, like, thought about, like, 2020. Like, even saying that, it's just like, whoa, crazy, I'm going to be 20 years old. That's like, I'm not a teenager anymore. I have so many responsibilities. Okay, now I'm going to go and spray my face. Ooh, this is the Mario Badescu spray. I'm almost done so I don't know I should show you guys like what outfit I'm gonna, gonna wear I don't really know what I'm gonna wear I always never know but like I should try to figure that out okay so for my lips I'm gonna take my um BFF by Colourpop lip pencil take my praline lip gloss um the NYX one it's a butter gloss and it's called praline take my clear lip gloss it's like NK clear lip gloss it's literally like a your lips but better combination so it's I'm trying so hard not to put freaking in a corner highlight in but I just really want to should I? <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're gonna do it. The shade in the Black Radiance palette. Just a little bit. Yeah, that's even enough. That's cool. Yeah, because we want this look to be like super natural and like. I don't know what that means, but you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, super natural. Model type, you know? They barely be wearing makeup, so I'm like. Ugh. I literally was looking for my rings for so long, right? Thought I lost them, and I was like, maybe someone stole them because I always put them in the same place. But then I'm like, what the fuck happened to them? Then I look in my freaking jacket, and they were all there. And I'm like, wow. I'm gonna take this bracelet and put this one. I don't know what the freak it's from. Little Words Project. Got this from Victoria's Secret from like the Ambassador Program. And then I'm gonna take the um, Timex watch, and this is literally from the thrift store. I got it a long time ago like a little little watch it doesn't work but i like it for the aesthetic it's like just so like dainty okay so i got put my rings on um this one's from vita kush and the other one is from like probably forever Zone one and this one's like from at their store this one is from forever Zone one i don't know i found this one the one at the bottom and these are from forever Zone one so the, ne the necklaces this one's from i think brandy melville this one's from aliexpress and this one's from forever Zone one so yeah, and I've just put on some earrings. These are also from Forever 21. You can just really get some like cool jewelry at Forever 21 or Brandy Melville. Like, oh, we can do outfits. Let me see what I'm gonna wear today. I don't really know what I'm wearing today. 
And I really am tempted to put on some lashes right now because I feel like you cannot see my, like you can't see like, I might put on some like little wispy lashes that I got from Aliexpress. Okay, so this is basically the finished look. Um, hope y'all like it. This is an IMG shirt. It's like the tank top and the IMG pants. Um, I don't know what these are called, but they're just like regular black cargo pants. Yep, and they play at the bottom. And then, yeah, I just put my, took these two pieces out of my hair in the front. And these are just like some, what are they called? Just like lock jewelry you can get from the beauty supply store. And I just put them all the way down. And then put two scrunchies in my hair and also got these from the beauty supply. So, yeah, that's basically the finished look. I put a little bit like um, these lashes on. These are from AliExpress. They're like really um, light and, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. They're just really white lashes. Like these aren't really something I would normally wear, but we're doing this model thing. So, <laughs> so yeah, these are the shoes I'll wear. These are my LMA ones. So, mm -hmm. this is my, my outfit. Hey guys, so thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it. Give it a like, a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Um, basically, this is like what I do. My what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm doing today, but this is my trying to be a modeling look. So I don't know what I'm gonna call this, but. I feel like it's the model on the go type look with my hair, my makeup, and my outfit. So yeah, I hope to see you guys next time. Um, yeah, subscribe. Subscribe. Okay, hopefully you just subscribe just now. So yeah, see you guys next time. Bye.